Hello everyone, it's going to be another food algorithm KSP video. Uh, we're so close to getting ready to get started with the colonization um, let's play, but right now I actually need to replace the colony ship that's already out there with the new updated one. And so let's do this real quick. F Alt F12. How's everybody doing today? I hope you're doing well. It's 5.05 a.m. here, and I'm about to go to work. So let's set orbit. We want our rendezvous with the other ship. Let's make it 50, and hopefully we don't clip into it. I don't think so. 50, 50 should be far away enough, right? Ooh, right there. <laughs> Pretty darn close. Okay, so here's the updated one. I put a little thing on here because I'm going to attempt to dock. Yeah, so we're going to attempt to dock while we're damn near halfway dead tired. Um, wait, I I should yeah the the Vernor thrusters should be enough. Okay, hmm dock, huh? Right. That's uh, easier said than done here. I uh, don't know really which way I'm pointing. Let's do this. Oh, RCS. Not sure what that was. Ah, that's that way. Okay, so we're upside down. There we go. See, normally in a normal video I would be speeding this up while uh, narrating over it. But, uh, you're, you're, you guys are lucky today. You get to see the whole thing in real time. Okay, the reason why I want to dock with it is so I can transfer fuel over. So I can have the original amount of fuel that's left over in this bad boy. Uh, let's see. So it's got like, uh, I want to say... I want to say... Maybe four-fifths fuel left. Not exactly a quarter was used up. A little less than a quarter of fuel was used up um, getting to Duna and that's because the main rocket itself would actually push it mostly towards Duna and then once it got it like halfway there this thing would detach and burn the rest of the way to Duna. So that way uh, I can save the fuel that's in here to park around Duna. Yes, this thing does, does, like I said, it's very, very cheap. If I was to go all out, spare no expense, it would have a heat shield on it. And it would arrow break around Duna. I'll tell you what, um, it's 5.08 a.m. I'm going to do this real quick and then probably edit this out. This is going to be an edited video, but it's going to be extremely uh, uh, small, <laughs> very, very little editing going on. I'll see you in the next 10 minutes. Here we go. <laughs> Alright, so this isn't going to work. I am not going to be able to dock like that in this amount of time. It's already 5.35. So we're going to do something a little different. We are actually going to put a claw on this thing and to, to be honest I really should have done that to begin with but again it is very early in the morning and I wasn't thinking so let's try this again <sighs> finally let's let's do the transfer over so I don't know if it's the fact that you can't use the claw anymore to transfer crew over but it won't let me do it Select part transfer Jebediah to Kerbin. Kerbin, it's highlighting the parts as if, yes, I can do that. So when I click it, nothing. Nothing, not even on this part, not that part. Not this part. Uh, it just says target switching locked, whatever the hell that freaking means. Okay. Okay, well, time's up, everyone. I'm so sorry. Uh, well, 
Uh, so once I transfer everybody over to the new and improved colony ship, the one that's not going to get everybody killed when we get to Duna, because this thing actually has a very, very, very bad flaw. Um, it explodes when it decouples. I found that out the hard way and I had to revert the save. Uh, this one is a little bit better. Everything's a little more separated, so it's not clipped. And when it separates, it's a hell of a lot better. Um, not only that, but um, this part up here, uh, someone uh, said something about trying to make it useful, the decoupla. Because the original part, the, the original decoupla, if I'm even saying that right, uh, was a throwaway part. But... Um, being as this calling ship is like almost completely usable, uh, meaning that every single part has a purpose other than to, you know, hold things together. Some of these rings hold things together, but like uh, this is the cargo bay for all the satellites. This part's used, that part's used, it's the crew hab. Uh, the back end is used as a overgrown satellite for now. So the decopola up here for the new one that I put together real quick is actually a detachable spacecraft that has cargo bay in it that's full of um, useful items like, well they're not showing up for some reason but uh, struts fuel lines maybe like a little claw anything that I could think of lights whatever so uh, theoretically a, uh, a a engineer could get in there and use that to go around the ship and fix whatever is going on like a little maintenance pod and then when it's all said and done this decoupla can actually attach to the back end here so once it uh, attaches to the back end I can imagine the person getting out EVA style and going into one of these habitats to join everybody on the surface of Duna and of course that would be in orbit until things look good on Duna and we're able to go back into orbit. Alright, well that's it for now. I'll figure out what's going on and uh, we'll get this series started as soon as I have time. I have to go to work today. Another very long day of work. Yikes. Anyway, I love you all. Please take care and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye-bye.